And we are huge fans of our next guest. She's a fierce boxer who fought her way to the Tokyo Olympics and now is being featured in a multi-part documentary produced by Oprah Winfrey and Prince Harry. Oh, sounds like a big deal to me. We are so glad to have back on Houston Life, Virginia Ginny Fuchs, <laughs> fresh off her Olympic debut. Ginny, it is so great to see you. Thanks so much for making time for us. It's good to see you guys again. Okay, so let's chat about the experience. I know a lot of people have probably asked about jet lag, but it is sort of on the other side of the planet. So describe your time in Tokyo. Uh, was it everything you hoped for? Uh, well, you know, I was in Tokyo or Japan for 40 days. We went to Maisaki Ju July 1st for a two and a half week camp before heading to the village on July 17th. So wow. it was, you know, a lot of restrictions. Um, when we were at the camp, we had to go a certain walkway to the gym and to the dining hall. And we can only take those certain paths. And it was in a hotel and we couldn't like go explore outside the hotel. So it was kind of, you know, in the room to the dining hall or to the gym. And then when we got to the village, obviously we got to rock around the village and you're surrounded by all the athletes um, around the world. So that was nice. Um, again, because of COVID, you know, usually the village has like restaurants you can go to. They have like entertainment. Um, it's, you know, a lot more lively usually, but because of COVID, nothing was really happening. It was just training, waiting to fight, fighting going to watch your teammates um so in that sense it was different because i went to rio so i got to experience how you know real um olympics is without covid but again it's the olympics so just being there was really you know it was honor um absolutely uh, and Jenny, unfortunately I, that... I didn't medal so that that was disappointing but it just being at the olympics was was really cool and that's the thing i know i know you didn't you didn't medal and that's really what you wanted but let's talk about some of the accolades that you know in january you were ranked number three boxer in the world of course you went to episcopal high school you're a flyweight boxer um this is something jenny that you've wanted to do ever since you were a little girl i have to tell you i took boxing in college from an unbelievable woman and it was sort of life-changing for me to kind of get that empowerment in the ring is that what it was like for you as a little girl uh well you know i didn't know i'd be boxing or going to olympics for boxing i started when i was 21 in college um i was introduced to it by a friend who's a professional boxer but um so me going so this is you know kind of unexpected and it's kind of surreal but be you know getting into boxing and and getting into it uh, when women were still, you know, looked out upon and, you know, we don't, we're not treated the same as men. Um, it's getting better, but we still have a long way. To, so to be a kind of a pioneer of, of the women's, uh, of boxing and women's is, is really um, something special. And I'm glad I can be a part of that. Um, and I, and I hope to keep, you know, building that equality. Well, Jenny, you're such an inspiration to so many of us. You are very public about your OCD diagnosis, which came when you were in middle school. This documentary Courtney just mentioned, The Me You Can't See, produced by Oprah Winfrey and Prince Harry. This really features stories addressing mental health and emotional well-being. What has been the response uh, from, from viewers? Oh, um, a lot of positivity. Um, a lot of people have reached out and, you know, telling me, like, I relate to so much of what you suffer with. Thank you for, you know, being open and honest. I don't feel alone. Now I feel like I can go get help. And, you know, I never really looked at my OCD as something I could do positive with it. And so, um, you know, I would thank Oprah and Prince Harry for allowing me to be on this documentary and, and showing people exactly, you know, the the struggles and severity of OCD. So I'm I'm just glad that I can help people any in any kind of way, whether just letting them know, letting them know they're not alone, or letting them know like you can get help, and letting them know even with this severe um, you know disorder, I can still you know, live my dreams and go to and compete in the Olympics. 
I think it's great, Jenny, that you're able to tell your story. I know in middle school, when you got the diagnosis, you were being treated for anorexia, found out that the OCD was then the layer beneath that. So there's lots of layers. And I think now as a woman, you're standing here telling your story. There's probably a lot of younger women that can identify and say it's okay to talk about. There's been such a stigma about it. We're so proud of you and, and can't thank you enough for joining us today. Uh, can we plan for, to see you in the next summer games? Uh, well, I, I haven't decided yet my future plans. I'm going to sit down with my team. I'm not sure. I'm kind of looking at whether I should go pro, pro or not. Um, but again, it killed me that I didn't get the gold medal and I really want to get a gold medal. So um, I'm not sure, but I will let you guys know after I talk with my team. Absolutely. We're ready to, to broadcast that announcement right here <laughs> yeah. on Houston Life. Jenny, when you're ready. <laughs> okay. And whether it's the Olympics or not, we know we're going to see you back in the ring very soon. Jenny, it's great yes. to see you and congrats. Welcome home. Thank you, guys. Nice to see you again. You too. Well, the Me You Can't See is streaming now on Apple TV+. Plus. And to connect with Jenny, head over to our website, Houston Life. Dot TV powerful documentary. Yes, she is such an inspiration. Still to come on Houston Life. Okay, brace yourselves. Lickable wallpaper in a hotel? The vacation spot with some pure imagination. Can't wait to hear about that. Plus, Joe Sam is taking us on a fashionable staycation.